Welcome back! I'm Kieran Siemens and this is Mr. Miro. He is the most gorgeous little beastie on earth, aren't you? And we're going to do some inky drawings for you today. Some really cool and funky stuff, aren't we? What do you think? So, if you want to do some drawing, if you like a bit of chat and a little bit of fun and a little bit of funky magic, Oh, <laughs> me and Mr. Miro are going to do it for you. So, come and watch us do some drawing. Just here. <laughs> mm. Well, hello, my funky friends. And welcome back. We're going to do some. We're going to do some inky drawings and we are going to use this delicious pen here. It's that delicious pen there. So we're going to start, but we're going to start off with a bit of brush just to, just to, just to, just to, just to, just to feel good. Just to, just to get some good feeling going. And that's nice. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of just feel like doing that. And that's going to give me some nice, exciting start up here. As always, I start with no rough sketches. I start with no plan. I just let my... First brain and second brain decide what I'm going to do. And off we go. At the one minute stage, I always check, see my cameras are working. Because <laughs> if you've been a regular on my channel, you'll know that my camera often dies. Right, so. I've been working uh, on a lot of kids' books at the moment. I love doing my kids' books. Um, and these are a set of stories called The Flug, which I did a few years ago, and I've been asked to do some more of them. So what can you do? It's a great little set of stories. Um, it's kind of about a half-bug, half-fairy type creature. And um, I love doing the stories. I love doing them. So that's what I'm working on at the moment. I'm doing some of those. And um, i got quite a few things going on at the moment. But the thing is, it's always better to have too many books going than not enough. <laughs> so I've got a couple of book ideas going on. And as always, I love to just... I'm, the worst part about drawing is that I'm actually trying to try out some of the digital. Uh, I'm trying to work on... Uh, people keep asking me about doing digital work. Can I do some iPad work? Can I do some digital work? And it's like, uh, I'm, I'm usually a pen and paper type of guy, but what? So I've been trying to move across to that, which I'm not really... I can't really say that I'm actually enjoying it. What am I doing? All right. And I can't really say I'm enjoying it, but it is kind of like odd that this kind of software kind of draws most of it for you in an odd way. I find it very, very bizarre. Why would anybody want a software that kind of does most of the work for you? I just don't get it. And that's how I feel about, I mean, you know, don't quote me on that because, you know, in, in a year's time, I might put up a video saying, this is how I draw an iPad. But, um, yeah, so I'm kind of cracking into doing some of the kids' books that way. I mean, it does, I can see why people are doing it, but, you know, I'm not quite sure about it yet. I'm kind of... I'm still very much into the um, the ink. I love the excitement of ink. I love what it kind of brings to the table. You kind of have this 
this excitement level I think you know and um, okay I seem to be drawing some kind of some kind of horse okay thank you brain <laughs> thank you for taking over while I'm talking see that's why you need two brains right All right, he's got kind of, he's got kind of like a sneaky type of face, this one, isn't he? Yeah, I kind of like the, the, the way that ink kind of just is a natural. You never know how that line's going to fall and you never know how things are going to be. And I, I kind of love that about the illustration side of things. I love the way that it's just so kind of magical. I, I say magical because it is. You're kind of putting down a line and it isn't just a line. It's like this piece of art, you know? And I love that. I love the whole magical side of things, you know? Oh, he looks like a Maybe I should make him into a zebra because zebras are kind of a little bit more. <laughs> yeah. I kind of think that zebras kind of have a little bit more kind of funkiness to them. Mind you, I do love a horse. I'm, I'm kind of, horses do have that kind of incredible thing about them don't they they're just they're just magical beasts I'm oh, saying magical a lot today well maybe that's because I'm feeling magical is that all right <laughs> wonder if I got some <clears throat> I can kind of make up some some ink there so that water, right? Let's get some water into that tray. Yeah, so I'm trying out to do the kids' books with um with the iPad to just to kind of see how much but then I do remember in the days when um, when things like Flash came in and everybody was in a panic and you know everybody hated the the Flash software if you remember Flash and it was a kind of vector based software and everybody was in a panic about it and it actually ended up to be I, I actually loved it at one point I I did a lot of the books on 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 uh, Flash because it was like this vector based software and it was quite incredible. So it, sometimes it's the software kind of I just kind of feel like a little bit like it's all kind of getting a little bit over the top or kind of losing the magic of art we're losing the magic that is a human touch i feel that's that's kind of fading away a little bit you know in especially with things like the ai coming in i am i mean sure if everybody can kind of type in you know zebra riding a unicorn uh, while his head's on fire and then you can everybody can do an image boom there it is well and then it comes back to that question of why do we need artists? Why? What a stupid question. We need we need artists because that's the creative force in this world. I feel like the world without, without art is an insane place, you know? I mean, you know, if I wasn't an artist, Man, I don't even I don't even want to think about it, you know. It's like you know, I'd I'd rather be like a 
an animal if I wasn't you know if I wasn't an artist I wasn't like well if I'm not an artist I'd like to be a pilot or or a plumber or something it, it, it just doesn't come in it just it's not there it, I, I wouldn't simple as that I wouldn't like this is everything for me it's like the most incredible part of anybody's day and anybody's life it's got to be when you do that little bit of something that little bit of art you know that little sketch that little painting that little something that's when all your inner thoughts and feelings and everything just flush and gush out and that's just beautiful i love that you know it doesn't matter how bad you think you are as an artist you're an artist and that is like a god-given gift to be able to put a little bit of paint a little bit of color and I, I love a lot of amateur art because a lot of the kind of so-called amateur art i mean that amateur art word shouldn't even exist you know if you can paint draw sketch that's such an incredible gift from you to the world. I, I, I just think it's incredible, you know. And here's my funky zebra. You see, I can't even begin. <laughs> I can't even begin to explain how excited I get when I'm, when I'm drawing. I can't even... I mean, the, I find struggle to say words, to say, today I was drawing and I felt, you know, delicious. <laughs> That's how I feel. I feel delicious and I feel great and I feel, I feel delicious. There you go. There's a new word for you. Made up by me. <laughs> Copyright of... Da -da 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 -da. Here in Siemens, 2024. The word delicious means overly excited and feeling funky and magical. Yeah. Yeah, that's how I feel. And I, I, I do find, you know, there's, there's a lot of people out there that do amazing jobs and... But... Artists, I love you all. Every single one of you. Doesn't matter how great or small you feel. You are incredible. And you are desperately needed by this strange and vicious world we live in. And also, one really big point. Don't think about your your artwork, whether it's a painting or a drawing or whatever, in terms of value, as in financial value. Because, you know, I, I don't do a drawing and think, well, that's worth um, 50 pounds or 6 million pounds or whatever. I just don't do it. And I don't do it for the reason of, it's not. It's not. It's like, how can I value my my experience and my my love for this drawing and this moment, this time, this 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 time that I'm drawing this is worth a billion pound. You know, whatever you think about my drawing, whether you like it or you don't like it, you love it, and you think I'm a you know a master, or you think it's absolute dog poop makes no difference this is a, a magical point in my day and this is just there's nothing better you know I mean it, it, there is a, a great feeling when I take Mr. Miro out to the park and he's running like a lunatic after some squirrels and stuff like that and you're kind of laughing your head off at him that's kind of like magical but this is this is different this is See, my brain talks to me all the time. It just talks to me. And it's just like, like now it's saying, all right, well, he's laughing and giggling and he's being a bit sneaky. For who? 
And I'm thinking, well, you're right, yeah. And it's like, there should be another one. Another one? You mean i got to draw a second zebra? And this is what this, what's going on in my head. This is what these little arguments and discussions and stuff going on in my head. So we're going to have to put in another, <clears throat> you know, my brain's saying it's got to put in another zebra somewhere. Okay. Well, let's, let's get down and be funky and, and do exactly that. Let's draw another zebra. <laughs> what are we on? Okay. So we're going to draw another one. Not because I want to, but, you know, my second brain won't shut up unless I do it. So we've got to do it. We've got to just, we've got to listen to that little inner voice sometimes. We have to listen. Sometimes that inner voice is telling you something magical. This whole drawing might be a nice drawing until I add that second zebra. Then it just becomes this gorgeous creation. And that's what we need. Let's give him a nice big long nose. Thank you for all the followers and the comments and all that other delicious stuff. Thank you so much. Because you guys, you guys make all of this extra gorgeous you know you make all this stuff extra extra magical extra delicious extra grillicious or whatever I said you make it all extra He's kind of cute. I like him. You see, I wouldn't have done this without listening. You know, wouldn't have done it. I feel a little bit like the the world is thinking too much about money at the moment. You know, it's like, and we're we're losing that thing of feeling. You know, like doing your art is about feeling. It's not about well, if I was to do this, I'd probably get a couple of thousand pounds for this drawing. You know, why are you thinking like that? Obviously, at the end of the day, I still need to feed Mister Miro. You know, he's he. He's not one of those type of dogs that you kind of just take a battery out the back. <laughs> Wouldn't that be funky? No, I've got to feed him. So, you know. Yeah, I've got to feed him. So, yeah. That's the only side when you start thinking about, right, I need to sell some of this stuff. But for me... What would I do with money? <laughs> as long as I've got ink and I've got paper and I've got a lovely cheese sandwich or something like that, you know. And I'm a happy chappy, you know. Like, or a banana sandwich. I love banana sandwiches as well. And that's what it's about. It's like, you know, living your life with more feeling in it. So many people have got jobs and they hate their job and <laughs> he looks kind of funky doesn't he yeah they go home every night they hate their job they hate their life and whatever else well that's just you know that's kind of sad really you know I love my drawings. I love them more than anything. I love them. I just love the whole experience of sitting and drawing and 
creating something, you know? Not getting too precious about that line and that person and that whatever, 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 you know? It's like just feeling it. That, there's something magical about that. And that's why I think you really need to spend more time loving your art. And also don't let other people tell you your art is right or wrong. There is no right or wrong. Stop getting into that. You're not right. You're not wrong. You know, the, the thing is, if you feel something exciting and, and driven when you're drawing or you're painting or whatever, you're right. You're a hundred million billion squillion percent right. That's the way it is, man. When I'm doing my drawings, I am right. When I am drawing this drawing... I'm the best in the whole planet. That's what you have to start thinking. This drawing here is the best drawing of a zebra ever. And if you start thinking like that, you start feeling great. You start feeling, well, whoa, whoa, yeah, wow. What a beautiful drawing I've just done. And for you people watching, it might just be a silly cartoony zebra. For me, it's a magical experience. And once I get in there and paint all these stripes, it will look so cool. I'm really sure about that. <laughs> That's kind of funky, I think. I like that. Thing is, it's so cold at the moment, the ink takes a very long time to draw, to, to dry, sorry. So if I was to paint on it now, it would just go all over the place. That is lovely. Now, these two guys have got to have names. You guys are so good at names. Come on. What are you? What are you gonna call my giraffe? My um, zebras, <laughs> giraffe. Oh my god, I'm losing it. What kind of cool and funky names would you give to zebra? And that is today's drawing. back out let's frame this baby up you know I love to draw a nice frame around everything don't you <laughs> I know it's kind of childish really the way it's kind of framed you know it's like it's like framed to go into like a portrait gallery or something like that you know yeah right that's where it should be hanging my drawing should be in the portrait gallery. This is a portrait of a zebra. <laughs> That's really quite cool and funky. I'm really pleased with that. Do a little test on this. It's kind of quite dark, but let's that is today's drawing. 
And maybe at the end, if you wait till the end, I'll put it in the final kind of painted up zebra part. Because I think if I do it now, it's all going to be too wet and it's all going to explode all over the place. So, as always, thank you very much for being here. Thank you for sharing this magical moment and this magical drawing of these two crazy zebras. Which I had great fun doing. I must admit, I had a lot of good fun. Now I've got to go back to work and do some more books. But... If you haven't subscribed, please do. If you haven't sent this to all your friends and said, hey, go and look at this crazy drawing. Why not? Why not? Send it to them. We have got to, uh, we have got to get everything more beautiful. So, thank you very much for being here. Thank you very much for spending your time with me. And we shall come back again very, very soon for more drawings. Bye-bye.